let me see if my crops are done growing oh looks like all the crops are done growing okay so let me just get all of these guys out and let me get the enderman out too uh okay yeah that was a big mistake but at least they have hundreds of tiny pigs <laughs> and hope you guys are having an awesome day so today we're reviewing the animal crops mod for 1.16.5 and it's a mod that gives you special seeds that allow you to plant and grow your own animals so let's just get straight into it so if you want to make an animal seed you first need to find animal pollen so the way you actually get animal pollen is by breaking grass so this is much rarer than seeds so it takes a lot of patience and a lot of effort sometimes so let me just Okay, so yeah, I got lucky this time because yeah, last time I was testing it, it took me the entire field to actually get oh, at least one, and I got two. Okay, so yeah, I, I was pretty lucky this time. But now that you have your animal pollen, the first thing you want to do is find an animal. And yeah, this will torture the animal. It will definitely hurt it. So you just right click on the animal you want to turn into seeds. And it takes a little bit of their life away. So as you can see, oh, okay, you know what? It looks like it just ripped the skin off. So as you can see, I have pig seeds. And now I can use it again. And yeah, he's almost dead. But at least I have two pig seeds. And these are actually stackable. So I don't know why they, they kind of got separated, but all right. And next thing you want to do is just plant it. So I'm just going to plant it over here. And I'm just going to plant one more over here. And they should start growing. But since I don't have the patience to wait this long, I'm just going to accelerate the growth by using random tick speed. So as you can see, it has started growing baby animals. So once the baby animal is grown up, you can just break the grass as normal. Yeah, I mean, break the crop as normal and it should drop a baby pig and it should drop more animal seeds. So in this case, it drops more pig seeds. And yeah, it, it rarely drops it, so... <laughs> Yeah, you can sometimes replant it, but not always. Since I didn't test this out, let's see how many seeds we get from all of these. So yeah, it, it doesn't drop absolutely any. So yeah, I just got lucky that I, at least I got one. Okay, so now let's get on to everything else. Oh, hey, Horse King, how has your day been going? It's been pretty good. Also, I set up the mod review for you. Oh, hey, Horse King, thank you. Thank you a lot. You usually don't help me out in the mod reviews. Um, yeah, sure. Also, I may have used some animal pollen on me, so there might be a clone of me in there. Oh, uh, horse can why the frick will you use that on you? Um, at least you used the potion of healing, right? Yes, yes I did. Oh, okay, so yeah, you should be okay. Um, but yeah, I, I, I wouldn't do that again. You might kill yourself by accident. Alright. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna go straight in here. And as you can see, here's the entire collection of all land animals that you can turn into seeds. So yes, I did say land animals. So you can actually use seeds on water animals and also some nether animals, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, I'm just gonna release this villager. And as you can see, everything is a baby. So everything that you plant here will be a baby. And also, I don't know if I should have released absolutely every single... <gasps> Yeah, I, I, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, um, Horsican might need to take care of absolutely everything. Okay, wait, is the polar bear chasing the fox? Okay, you know what? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I just unleashed pure murder. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go to the water section. So I have arrived at my testing pool. So finally, I'm using it in another mod review because yeah, I barely actually use this for mod reviews. Oh, Horsican is up there. Um, Horsican, he just the entire coral reef okay you know what i, I need to talk to him um horsekin what the frick is wrong with you why would you bring the entire coral reef um well they needed a home um yeah good good point horsekin um so i guess that uh, you how did you even get this in here oh um, i have my ways and my secrets um okay uh, i i i don't actually want to ask oh okay i i I think he might have opened this up, but yeah, Horsekin, you're not going to say anything, right? Um, no. Okay, so yeah, um, I guess that we just have to leave it to our imaginations. So I'm just going to go underwater, and as you can see, there are some animal seeds down here. So let me just get some animal pollen 
yeah, I almost call it Animal Planet every single time. I don't know what is wrong with me. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some from this turtle. And as you can see, I have turtle seeds. So you can actually use this absolutely anywhere you want. So it doesn't matter. You can place it on sea lanterns. You can place it on sand. You can place it on absolutely any single thing you want. And it will still work. As long as it's underwater. Because if you try it on land, yeah, it's not going to work. Also, yeah, let me break out every single sea creature. Okay, so yeah. Oh, that turtle is adorable. Okay, yeah, and there's a puffer fish. Now let's go to the nether section. Almost forgot to tell you guys. So you can plant any of the land animals on pots or grass. So let me just show an example. And as you can see, the fox is growing on pots. And also, yeah, sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. Now let's go straight into the nether. So as you can see here, uh, oh, okay, yeah, I brought a lot of baby animals. Okay, okay buddy, um, just stay here. Um, don't burn in lava, please. And here we have the nether animal. So yeah, um, he's technically not an animal. But um, yeah, he's kind of like a villager, so that's why he has seeds. So you can actually use this on soul sand or soul soil. Um, yeah, I don't know what it's actually called. Yeah, soul soil. And you can plant either of these guys here. So yeah, I'm just going to break them out. So here we go and here we go. Um, yeah, they, okay, yeah, they're kind of lagging out because um, I have my random tick speed too high. And now on to the last animal. So here we have a lava-based animal. So it is the strider. And I'm no! What the frick is wrong with you? Ah! Frickin' die, you monster! Frickin' die! Die! You killed a puppy! Okay, you know what? Uh, he almost killed the guy, but... Uh, okay, good for you! Run! Just run! Run, you coward! So, here we have to Strider. So, he is under lava. And, by the way, this is very specific. He can't actually grow on one lava. So it actually has to be surrounded in lava. So as you can see here, it's surrounded with lava on all sides, including the corners. And yeah, I'm just going to go down and here we go. So yeah, he is over here and oh yeah, that's adorable. And he will just surface if you break it from, yeah, you can actually break it from the top too, as you saw, because there's a hitbox and he should just rise out of the lava. And yeah, the most ador they're the most adorable things. They, they look ancient, and yet they they're babies. Now we're going to get into more advanced stuff. So I'm just going to show you guys how to actually use the configs to add more seeds. So if you want to add another animal seed, you first need to know the tag of the animal you're trying to add. So in this case, I'm going to add an enderman. Well, he's more of a hostile. But if you don't know the name tag of anything, you can just do slash summon then space and then you can type the name of the animal or hostile you want so in this case i want an enderman and as you can see down here enderman appears so you can just copy and paste this or you can just literally type it in into your config but in this case i'm just going to copy and paste this and as you can see i have enderman here now let's go into the configs so if you want to get to a configs from this mod, you have to do it a little bit differently. So it's not actually in the configs. You actually need to go to your saves and then go to your actual save. And then once you're in your save, you can go to server config and here you'll find the animal crops server tom. Okay, so yeah, this is basically just a config. And here you can add any animal you want. So in this case, I want to add the enderman. So I will first put comma, then space, and then quotation marks and then just the animal name so in this case i have the enderman right here and i'm just going to put quotation marks again and as you can see it has been added now you actually want to do this in any section you want so you can pick land animals you can pick lava animals you can pick if you want bone meal to actually work on these and you can pick if you want it to be in shrooms and then you can also pick it to be in water so in this case i want a water mob so i'm just going to add a water mob by doing the exact same thing so as you can see here we have elder guardian and i'm just going to put quotation marks again and as you can see it has successfully been added now you just want to exit by clicking close up here and then just save and there you go so you should actually restart minecraft before actually going back into your world Okay, so I have some animal pollen. Now let's just get this into easy mode. And let's see if an enderman is around it. Okay, so here we have an enderman. So I'm just going to grab the enderman seeds. And as you can see, they're completely pitch black. 
So yeah, um, basically Enderman skin. Yeah, I, that's what I've noticed. Basically, it's just all animal skins. Um, yeah, it's kind of creepy that you just ripped your skin off. But all right, so just let's just place the Enderman right there, and let's do slash game rule random tick speed three thousand, even if it lags. And as you can see, I have grown an Enderman. Okay, yeah, that is the pretty weirdest thing I've ever said. Okay. You know what? Yeah, most beautiful and weirdest thing I've ever said. And as you can see, now you have a fully grown Enderman that you just planted from the ground. Sir, I have planted you from the ground. Please don't get angry at me when I stare at your eyes in survival. And now we're just gonna go grab an Elder Guardian. So let's grab an Elder Guardian. Elder Guardian. Now let's take this Elder Guardian and put him in here. Okay, yeah, um, he's gonna probably be scary for absolutely every single fish. And as you can see, I have end, uh, guardian seeds. I was gonna see ender garden by accident. Um, wait, ender guardian. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna plant their seeds. And as you can see, it should start growing. And I, I don't know why you would probably do this, but all right. Yeah, if you want an elder guardian in your swimming pool, you can definitely just... <laughs> I, 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 I really can't take this seriously. I really can't. And also, one more stunt. Let's try it on the Ender Dragon. The frick happened to the... <laughs> the frick happened to the Ender Dragon. Um, I, I shouldn't let Horsa can actually build Ender Portals. But anyway, let's just try and grab it from the Ender Dragon. Okay, so apparently it does not work. Yes, you cannot use it on bosses. Um, yeah, I... Definitely can't use it on bosses. Guys, I'm just extremely stupid. So apparently you can only do this with any mob that has a spawn egg. So if it doesn't have a spawn egg, you can't do it. And also, yeah, it does work with absolutely every single mob mod. So yeah, you can use this with Twilight Forest and use it with a few other mods. So I'm not really that sure on every single mod you can use it on. But if you want to check it out, you can go and just check out the Forge website that I'm gonna link below. So that was it for today's mod review. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this mod review, even though uh, I was being a little bit awkward in some parts of the mod reviews. But yeah, I'm just trying to do this in one single goal without actually repeating the same thing over and over and over again. And yeah, it doesn't really have to be perfect. And that's what I've actually learned because I was trying to be too perfect on the other mod reviews and that's why I wasn't enjoying them this much. And now I am actually enjoying mo doing the mod reviews. But yeah, anyway, don't forget to burn that subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you happen to be new to this channel and happen to be enjoying my content. Let's try to get to 10 likes on this mod review and hopefully you guys have an awesome day or night. And see you all later. Bye!